how cool is all that stuff that you guys just saw? Um, I did not know that the flash had two panels until I brought the camera underneath. And that's, that's really cool because now I can print like big designs and not worry about like flashing or not flashing some of the edges um, of the design. You know, it'll flash the whole thing at once. Today, uh, I was just gonna show you guys that and a little bit more of what's happening today. I have a five color design that I gotta work on. It's gonna be pretty cool. I have a two color and then this right here. That's gonna be a nape that's going on some t-shirts that I printed yesterday. So um, let's go get Brian and then from there, we'll head to the shop. So we're here at the shop now and we're enjoying a beautiful sunset that I'm shooting a time lapse of right there. And Brian's practicing his photography with this new toy, somewhat new toy. I just got done reclaiming some screens. I did about four of them, maybe five. Uh, once they're dry, I'm gonna coat them and then burn some of the jobs that I showed you guys right now so we can get to printing. I have three jobs that are due by Friday and um, hopefully we can knock out at least two of them today. We have dope dealers back there working on some graphics. These are the shirts that I printed yesterday. And those are the shirts that are getting the nape print today. I got the screen burnt. And these are next, but we're waiting to coat those screens. Once they're coated, we're gonna burn them, set it up. And um, there's a good chance that we might not print them today, but I wanna set it up and have it ready for approval so that tomorrow when I come in, I can bust them out. If you can't remember from last time I coded some screens, I go two and one. That means that I go twice on this side and once on this side. When you're coding, the scoop coder has two sides. One that's a little thicker and one that's a little bit thinner. Probably wanna use the thinner side to, don't, to not lay a lot of emulsion. When you run your scoop coder up the screen, you wanna go slow and steady so that you can let the emotion flow through the screen and go work its way to the other side. So we're gonna go two on this side, one on the, where the ink goes, I call it the inside, one on the inside. Once I'm done with that, you get your scraper and you get the excess off the sides so that the screen dries faster and you don't have a hard time reclaiming that, um, that buildup when you're done using the screen. Okay so, um, okay, so that was a quick reminder on how to coat your screens two in one. When you bring up the scoop coater, remember to go slow, not fast, and then to scrape the sides so that your screen dries faster and you don't have a hard time reclaiming that buildup. When you're done, make sure you clean your scoop coater, put the cover on it so you don't dent the edges. I've had the same one for three years now. And if you have to refrigerate your emulsion, put it in the fridge. And if you don't, you can leave it out, obviously. So while I was coating and burning some screens, I set this design up, the name drop, for the nape, which is this location right here of the t-shirt. And it goes on the back of these. I'm gonna print those and then set this one up. Oh, you can't see it. Then I'm gonna set up that uh, design that's on the back of the screen that I showed you guys. 
And after that, I think we're going to call it a day. So we maybe have like 20 more minutes here at the shop and we're out. Okay, so you guys saw today the new equipment that I bought. You guys saw the little bit of work that I had. And I think for this weekend, I'm planning on starting a new project to show you guys exactly how the process starts from having the client call me all the way through reclaiming the screens, coding the screens, setting up the job, and then uh, printing the job, and then, you know, all the entire process. So I'm gonna do the screen printing process from start to finish. I'm gonna do an explanation detailed of every single step. And this was like a recommendation or kind of like a suggestion for my cousin to do. And hopefully it's gonna help you guys understand a little bit more of the process from start to finish, not just like a random explanation of this and that. Um, so hopefully it'll clear some questions that you guys have. And if I miss anything along the way, I can answer it in the future with other um, videos that I do. And um, that's it for today. Thank you.